What's up YouTube? I'm gonna do a one year lift review. The Rough Country four inch lift is what I've got. But I added two inch blocks to the front, which gave me six inch lift. Which I now have the uh, 37s on it, which I didn't have a problem running 37s with just a four inch. I'm just that type of person, old school. I like the wheel and tire clearance. I changed those stickers on the shocks. That is a rough country shock. But the other ones had faded out, I guess, where the sun got on them and they turned pink and I couldn't handle that. But everybody says that these lifts aren't any good rough country or well, I've had it for a year and I ain't had no problems with it. I don't understand what people's talking about that rough country's junk. I'm sure they have flaws in their parts or whatever, but I don't I don't see where they're that bad. Now in my previous video I showed the drop pitman arm that I recommended a person not to do that, but I was wrong. What my problem was is no adjustable control arms. So I bought the drop brackets for the control arms and it is a world of difference. I highly recommend that you buy those right there. They make a difference in your ride. It won't beat you to death. It steers a lot better. They're not hard to put in. I wished I'd have filmed all this stuff when I was doing this, but I don't really have anybody to help me do this. I have to do it on my own, and it's hard to work on things and try to video too. But anyways, the lift is, like I said, I got a four inch lift on it. I've added two inch blocks in the front, which gave me six inches. Now in the rear, I didn't add anything but the correction plates for the springs. You'll see them right here. They're supposed to make the spring straight, which it does. But when I first installed it, I ended up having to take them back out because I sit way too high in the back compared to the front. But if you're just gonna install the four inch lift, I recommend you just leave those out. That way you're sitting level. It's a shame that I put those back in and I'm still sitting level with a two inch block in the front. I don't know if it was the springs or, or just the way a Jeep is supposed to be raked out, but I don't recommend you to put those on there. And also about their truss and sea gusset kit. Actually, I think it, was, it wasn't as high as everyone else's. I mean, you can go buy name brand all you want to but people this is just metal that you're welding in and the thickness of it is exactly as thick as you see it right there i mean it's it's worth the money but if like i said if you want to buy a name brand rtac or something like that then go right ahead but i can't see it i mean it's just metal you're welding on but anyways the four inch rough country lift, is it worth the money? Yes, I think this kit was 500 and some odd dollars, I can't remember. But you got your shocks, you got your springs and everything to put it together with. You got that track bar adjustment right there that bolts onto the front of it. But I haven't had any problems with it. And I'd recommend the lift. I really would. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.